you could see yourself in my eyes You'd see you shine, you shine I know you'd never leave me behind I am lost this time Are we destined to burn or will we last the night? I will hold you till I hold you right If only you could see yourself in my eyes Welcome back to another episode of Morning Coffee with your host, Rick Alexander. I'm at Rick Alexander underscore and at Lionheart Radio on Instagram. If you want to connect with me, talk about the show, talk about coaching, the Clarity Academy that's getting ready to launch, hit me up on there and uh, I'd love to talk to you about what some of the options are. That introduction music was by Brittany Taylor and she's at Brittany Taylor on Instagram. That's Brittany with two T's and two E's. I want to thank you guys for continuously supporting the show and showing up, sharing it with your friends. I just want you to know... There's no way that I could articulate my appreciation properly, but I really appreciate everybody that listens to this show. Obviously, when I'm sitting here talking into a microphone, it just helps to know that somebody gives a damn and is on the other end, uh, working through some of the heaviest stuff in life, and that's really where this show has pivoted to, you know? Like, probably people that have been listening to me for a while know a lot of my story, but this show started out in fitness completely, and I think it still has a lot of fitness undertones to it. Uh, that was kind of the point of the show was like this sublet marketing idea for my supplement company. And we were interviewing all of our athletes and I just kept coming to the realization that no matter what you PR'd or what finish line you got to, if your head was a mess, then you just had to spend time fixing it because all of that would be for not, uh, again, if your head was a mess, <laughs> no matter what the finish line is, no matter what view you earned, you couldn't actually appreciate it if you didn't work through the hardest things in life that a lot of us tend to avoid. And so that's what I really have pivoted toward. And that's what the point of this show is. You know, one of the things that I've looked around throughout this time of working with clients and kind of doing a lot of this deep work on myself is I came to the realization that there's quite a bit of self-loathing that exists. I'm at a point in my life where I truly, truly love myself and and what I'm doing in the world. But it was a really, really miserable long process to get there because I think we all have a little bit of self-loathing. Now, I was like really far on that end. I mean, I truly hated myself and it, it took me a long time to figure out why. And I've done tons of work in figuring that out. I'm gonna talk about resentment this week a little bit here and there, but one of the things I'd ask you today is, would you actually give somebody something amazing that you resented? I think that the answer is no, right? You really wouldn't. You would not want to give, you would not want to shower somebody with love and things that would make their life incredible if you resented them. And so you can think about that proposition and then it's a fairly short line to draw to self-sabotage from there. Because of course, you're not going to allow yourself to have all of the best things in this life, all of the things that you yourself want, relationships, money, success, whatever it is for you, whatever those metrics are for you, you're not going to allow yourself to have them if you actually resent who you are in the first place. I mean, it's common sense. Every time you start building towards something that you really want, you're going to self-sabotage because you're looking at yourself as someone that isn't worthy of having those things. And that's why resentment is such a problem. And so if you're looking for a way to improve your life or to adopt some of that self-loathing, then I always have to start with values. And of course, in the Clarity Academy, this is the work that we do. It's like it always stems with values because values are your worldview. It's not just what you place value on, but it's how you see everything that happens in your economy. And if you think about your highest core values, you value those things. And so you would value people that live up to those values. And so to the degree that your actions are out of alignment with your own values is to the degree that you are going to have self-loathing. The go-to example that I always talk about with values is cheating on a partner because it's so easy to conceptualize. A lot of times people will be miserable in a relationship or who, who even knows? There's a million reasons why people cheat. But for whatever reason, sometimes you see this quite frequently, people will cheat on somebody and then they're just torn up inside. They're totally guilty and they just feel awful about it. Well, the reason they feel awful about it is because most people value integrity or honesty of some kind or open communication or something along those lines. Usually it's somewhere in truth, right? Most people value the truth. 
And so you've lived outside of your own value system. So by definition, you are someone that you don't like. And humans have the ability to assess themselves. And that's important to remember because we can judge ourselves just like we can judge someone else. And there's almost no difference in that. And so if you allow yourself to be someone that you don't like, then you're going to look at yourself as someone you don't like and you are going to self-sabotage and you're not going to let yourself be happy. And that is fundamentally why so many of us are going around not living the lives that we want because we're living outside of alignment with our very own value system. Again, shameless plug, that is what we do in the Clarity Academy. So if you're interested in how to change that narrative uh, in your own life, then hit me up and we can definitely talk about that because I got a new class launching soon. But back to the show, it's like, Listen, you are in every moment of your life. We make our decisions only long enough until our decisions make us. And you got to remember that because when it comes to your own life, you are constantly making decisions to show up for yourself or not. So when you eat that thing that you know is bad for you or when you skip that workout or when you uh, treat somebody maliciously or vindictively or, you know, all of these little things that we do that sometimes we're doing literally just because we're kind of at the behest of our feelings and our emotions and our interactions and our reactions to things. So like maybe somebody will bring something up that triggers you and maybe initially you're really good at arguing. This was a thing for me for a long time. I'm really good at debating my point. And so I would make the person feel like shit that I was debating against. And then of course I would win the debate, but it doesn't really feel like a win when like you're arguing with someone you love and you make them feel like shit. You won from like a conceptual standpoint, but by all accounts, you you basically lost because you made someone you love feel like shit. And so that is, if I looked at other people that were making someone I love feel like shit, I would not value that person. And so that is how that attitude grows. And it's happening, like I said, situations throughout your entire lives. So as best as you can, you have to show up for yourself. And if you want to stop self-loathing, if you want to start loving yourself because you want to actually allow yourself to be happy, then you got to start being someone that you actually value. And that starts by living in accordance with your value system. I hope that you can figure this out. I hope that you can identify some of these areas in your lives. Uh, If you're looking for the question, the question today is, okay, well, where in my life am I not showing up for myself based on my own value system? But either way, you guys can hit me up because you know that I love you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow on Morning Coffee. Well, come with me to a place by the sea. If the ship breaks down, you can always find me. The dirty J chilling underneath a shady tree. Our fans are always welcome with our friends and family. And if you wish, you can stay as long as you please. Just lend a helping and a bit of cap by the sea. Where every day is beautiful, the sun, the sand, the breeze. And everybody lives together here in harmony. And we'll see.
my photo And when the sun goes down We can start a fire to sit around When the sun goes down We can start a fire, start a fire When the sun goes down We can start a fire to drink around When the sun goes down We can start a fire, start a fire When the sun goes down We can start a fire to sing around When the sun goes down We can start a fire, start a fire